Hey, what up everybody? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War on PS4. And let's see what we can get into this week on Gems of War, the weekly preview. Where I go over the Soul Forge, event keys, and all the events that are happening this week. And maybe some new troops, weapons, whatever. So first thing, let's see what they pop up here on the screen. They usually have something for uh, Monday. If the game will ever load. This has been a real problem lately because I'm trying to do speedruns and then the game takes forever to load during a speedrun. And do I count that or do I not count that? I don't know. We have the Blind Guardian here, the new troop on the left side of the screen. And, um, what's it gonna say? Uh, Flying Blind is the event. So. Flying Blind, new ultra rare troop, Blind Guardian. Get this troop with glory from the rewards tab of the shop. From the Depths, experience our new world event with your guildmates. It's called From the Depths. Play world event battles from every day to unlock rewards so that's what we have this week world event a flying blind with the blind guardian I don't know maybe uh, it's the week of dark stone so all dark stone troops gain 10% to skills and the week of monsters so all monsters gain 10% to skills and you get bonus trait stones for using the blind guardian in PvP to get a bonus trait stone which, once again, these are like always hard to do without it being clunky and weird. And you could just go to the kingdom where you need trait stones, use Rowane, and blast through and get some uh, trait stones. Uh, but if you have to, if you want bonus trait stones, you gotta use the Blind Guardians. So somehow, you gotta fit them into your team. And it's not always easy, even though he does explode. But he has to drain before he can explode, so he's gotta wait on the other team to have mana. So, I don't know always unadvised all right so let's go to soul forge for first thing uh, because I like to see what we have here to craft go to the troops go to the mythics all right the mythics we have this week and look at that look at that Zolgoth seven out of eight and I'm so close I need one minor blue orb that is it almost there thought I would have it after bounty but did not get the blue orb we have Undyne Queen Aurora Queen Aurora that's hard to say when you just woke up Aurora Ferris Ra there we go Plague and these are legendaries but I'll still go over them but I'm more interested in the mythics um so first the mythics Undyne Deal 34 damage to an enemy in the next enemy below, boosted by Merfolk and Submerged Allies. Submerge blue allies, silence blue enemies. So with Undyne, I would not recommend crafting him unless you need him and you have everything else. He's like a, a 20th type mythic. He's not top 10. Uh, so this week, probably not. Um, the reason he's any good at all is because he'll silence blue enemies. And submerge blue allies so you can use them on like guild wars for blue day or blue defend but that's about this only use in the whole game so then we have queen aurora used to be a pretty high recommendation for me but she is slowly dropped down the list maybe a top 15 so i would craft her above undyne but this week probably not unless you already have ferris ra uh, give all other allies barrier and 27 life. Create 10 gems of a chosen color. And that's cool and everything, but she also has gain bonus mana from all gem matches. So Rainbow Link. Gain bonus mana from all gem matches. It's not a certain color. It's every single match you get bonus mana from it. So that's why she's good, but it's not always worth putting her on a team just for that. And then we have Ferris Ra, 100% best craft you could do. No one can argue with it. If you don't have Ferris Ra, you don't have Dawnbringer, you still need to do some soul farming. This is the best thing you can craft. 
So nobody can argue that if you craft it. And you say, hey, I just crafted the best mythic in the game. And you say, I crafted Ferris Ra. And they say, oh, that's not the best mythic. You say, whatever, shut up. Yes, he is. Because you need souls. And this is the troop that's going to help you the most. Do something that you need to do. That everybody needs to do. Necromaster. Gain 150% bonus souls from battle. And people in the comments will say, yeah, well, you can do this team or that team or this team or that team without Ferris Ra and still soul farm. But he just makes it so much easier. And you don't have to make all these weird teams with weird weapons and weird classes. You can just use him and get a good solid 30, 40, 50,000 souls an hour, something like that. I think it's 30 or 40. But he transforms yellow gems to purple, deal 29 dam damage to an enemy, boosted by my souls, give 20 souls. So definitely a top two craft, at least. So if you don't have them this week and you have 4,000 diamonds, you better get them. 100%. And if you don't have them this week and you got 2,000 diamonds, you better do every single dungeon, buy every single offer, and just anytime you see uh, diamonds this week, you better be getting them so you can try to hopefully get it by Sunday. And I know on everything but PS4, you have to buy it with real money, so I don't recommend that. But if you're on PS4, for example, you can buy extra diamonds every single day in the dungeon. So if you happen to need Ferris Ra and you and you happen to be like 2,000 diamonds short, you can get pretty close this week by buying the offer with gems all week and doing all your dungeons. All right, here we have Plague. Very, very low recommendation. Probably the last, one of the last mythics I would recommend. Eliminate 23 points of a random skill from all enemies, poison and disease them. He just looks cool, but you're never going to use him. It's an apocalypse troop, so you don't even get like uh, any uh, kingdom bonuses or anything. And um, nothing great here. Nothing great. One of the last mythics you want to craft. So my order of uh, recommendation here for today, uh, May 11th. I uh, forgot to say that. It's May 11th, weekly preview. Uh, I would say Ferris Ra, 100% the first recommendation. I would then say Queen Aurora and Undyne are pretty close. So you probably can't go wrong on your second one. But I would say Queen Aurora and then Undyne and then Plague last. Alright, so let's go over the legendary troops in here. Gruz the Undefeated. I've never used him in my life. I've also never used Plague in my life, just for the record. Gruz the Undefeated. Do I even have Plague? I do. How the heck did I get him? I must have got him by accident. Gruz the Undefeated. Deal 30 damage to an enemy, curse them, and inflict 2-4 to four stacks of bleed. Never seen anybody use this guy, ever. So would not recommend... First of all, getting legendaries in the Soul Forge with diamonds is pretty much a no-no anyway, unless it's the Dragon Soul or Yagwe or something. There's like two or three legendaries that you should even consider getting in the Soul Forge because you need to be getting those other ways and saving up for these down here, the more important mythics. So definitely do not recommend getting... The only ones I really recommend getting are Dragon Soul and Yagwe, so this is going to be pretty easy. Queen Yezebel, deal damage to the first enemy equal to allies attack, then give 25 attack and armor to them. Give 3 to 8 mana to all allies other than myself. So no. Dracos used to think this was a pretty cool troop. It's like a mechanical dragon. Silence, stun, and drain. 29 mana from an enemy with a 25% chance to destroy them. Just pretty much an instant kill. I used to think it was pretty cool. Tried using it, and you don't really get that instant kill very often. And you start getting mad at it, and it's just not that good. But it's still kind of cool. It looks cool. It has a cool move, because it can instant kill. But I would never recommend crafting it. So, Spring Imp. Deal 24 scatter damage and tangle all enemies. If an enemy dies, gain 8 magic. Never used it before. Not going to craft it in the Soul Forge. It might be the best legendary here, but still. Summoning Stones. Don't recommend doing these because you want to save your jewels for Celestials that you need for 
like Ferris Ra here. Ten Celestial Trade Stones. You do not want to be uh, losing Celestial Trade Stones. The weapons. Doomed Rune Stones. If you don't have Doomed Weapons, that looks like they're going to start popping up in the Soul Forge. Doesn't mean you should do Doomed Rune Stones, but that's good for the future if Doomed Axe is in here, or Doomed Glaive, or Doomed Scythe, or any of those. But yeah, don't do this one. But uh, if you see any of the ones that transform uh, color into Doom Skull, then and you don't have them, make sure you um, craft those. 900 diamonds. Mythic weapon. Blood drinker. No. I mean, if you don't have it and you have everything else, yes, but just to collect it. Broken guard. That's part of us, uh, Athenos, I think. Never mind. Chalice of Eyes is the new weapon this week. Let's go over it right now, in case I forget to. Um, cleanse and give 34 life to all allies. Summon an all-seeing eye troop. Create a firestorm at the start of every turn. And it has a, an, it has an enchant on it uh, later, like in its talents or whatever. Just FYI somewhere. Um, Dark Sword, not very great. Triple damage on yellow, and that's about it. But look at this here. I need one minor orb to get that last major orb to craft that power orb to craft this Zulgoth. So, pretty awesome. Alright, now, get out of here. We need to go over the event chests. So, we have Dark Stone troops this week. So, if you save up your event keys get some dark zone troops let's go see what's available dark stone starts with a D go to show all and then go to base rarity so if you throw event keys this week these are the troops that you can get so hopefully you saved your event keys. There's no reason to just throw them all willy-nilly. You should be targeting certain troops with your event keys. Waiting to till a certain kingdom week and going for mythics. Like Mother of Darkness here, I do not have. So I'm probably going to throw mine just to try to go for her. The Possessed King is pretty good because he has unstable possession. Explode two random gems on a four or five gem matches. Um... And for me, I just go for mythics I don't have. Here's Gruz, we don't care. Magnus, sometimes people use Magnus. Legendary troop. Deal 32 damage to all enemies, boosted by disease and poison enemies, then disease and poison all enemies. And inflict a random status effect in four or five gym matches. Sometimes people use him, but... Anything else? Um... Not really. So, the Possessed King, Magnus, maybe Scion if you're like really early in the game. Sometimes Scion can be used to annoy people. Deal 40 true scattered damage, drain 7 mana from all enemies. And it drains on like, steal enemy mana when stealing skull damage too. But hey, let's open some right now and try to get Mother of Darkness. Or nah, let's not do that because uh, I still need to open my mail and get more vent keys and all that. Sorry for the tease. Alright, let's head to the shop now. So if you open event keys this week, you can get the Possessed King. The shop froze. Hold on. Every single time that the shop freezes. Alright, weekly events. Blind Guardian. Hey, they moved it to the front now. That's good. So make sure you get your Blind Guardian with your glory. Um, so I'm going to do that. Drain up to 10 mana from an enemy. Explode one gem for each mana drained. Gain one life for each purple ally. Summon a dark storm at the start of battle. Gain purpose. <laughs> gain purpose. Gain bonus purple mana from purple gem matches. So it has a dark storm. It drains and it explodes. I can see it being okay. Uh. Not in like fast teams and not in super deep teams, but somewhere in the middle there. Because it has to, the enemy has to get mana for it to explode. So it can't do anything in the very beginning of the battle. And it's not going to be super helpful in really hard scaled up content. But somewhere in the middle there, I can see it being useful somewhat. 
And we also have Arcane Planes, Trade Stones. I keep forgetting to go over these every time I do a weekly preview. You can get a bunch of these if you go in here. You save up your glory. Don't If you need Trade Stones, save up your glory. And then you can buy 200 Arcane Planes, train, uh, Arcane Planes Trade Stones. So if you happen to need those for your whatever Mythic you got, Say you're at the point in the game where you only have one Mythic, or two Mythics, and one of them that you have happens to need Arcane Plains Trait Stones, and you need that to get it fully traded. Well, there you go. You can buy as many as you want right here. Uh, and it's different every week. They do a different stone. Pretty much whatever I think the color is of the troop is what uh, they do. So, if I buy one again... Um, See, he's purple and yellow, so that's the kind of stones we can get. Um, and then we can go here, look up purple and yellow, and these are probably the troops that need that, that stone. Um, especially the ones like, I don't know. Anyway, some troops will need Arcane Plane Trait Stones. So if you happen to need that stone, you can buy a bunch of them. Alright, let's go over the event events for this week. We have um, the world event uh, today, which is where? Guild from the depths. I'll be going over this tomorrow in more depth, but, you know, making a team and everything. When the Blind Guardian appeared in Darkstone, there was much trepidation. These disturbing creatures had long been associated with portents of doom. Sure enough, it had arrived with a warning from for the Dark Isle. Far below the raider, Lord of the Ocularan, had begun crafting an evil artifact, the Chalice of Eyes. The only chance to stop him would be a hasty assault into the underworld to stop him gathering the mystic eyes he's required. I guess we can make a quick team. I usually do that on Mondays, don't I? I really... It takes me a second to figure this out. Usually, but I'm going to buy up to the Chalice of Eyes. I probably should have grabbed my mail first because I'm going to be running really low on gems. Oh, cool. Badge. All seeing badge. I wonder what it does this week. And the Chalice of Eyes. makes a medal and then you grab, grab your rewards because you might be able to get another medal or at least a badge and then let's go just do a fight we'll do an easy one just to get started that's probably not what you want to do we have purple mage warlock this might be weird base rarity racking weaver death elemagrim Just looking at all the troops first before I... Because I haven't looked at this at all. <clears throat> Man. It seems like this weekly preview is taking longer than usual. I'd probably do... I don't know. Arachnian Weaver is good. Infernus is good. Obsidius is decent. Elmagrim. The Possessed King. The Grey King. Yasmin's Chosen. Queen Ma Queen Titania. I'm trying to think here. Sunbird, you could blow some stuff up real quick. Wisp. I see people using Wisp a lot, but I don't. I need to start trying Wisp. What's Wisp do? Spell all enemies, charm, and random stamina, turn, gain an extra turn, start about 75%. Maybe I'm not thinking of the right... I think it's winter, something... I don't even know what I'm saying. Maybe Queen Titania? Deal 30 damage to all enemies, boosted by red enemies and allies. If there are 13 or more red gems, gain an extra turn. So you would, like, put her there, and then get a bunch of red enemies and allies. I wonder if I could just do a bunch of Queen Titanias or something. I 
I don't know. I hate making teams on the spot like this. I'm not very good at it, like I always say. We need a something that's gonna make um make uh, something that is. What does he do? Create brown gems. We don't need brown gems. We need something that's a mana generator. Is there no mana generators? What the heck? There's no red mana generators on this. Sweet. Who do we got here? Come on. We need a mana generator. Is there nothing? What is going on? Jeez Louise, this is taking way too long. Huh. Well. I don't know. I'm gonna do this. You guys are gonna hate it. You guys are gonna hate it. Get off of base rarity. Come on. Shut up. What is going on here? I can't use Dawnbringer? Oh, I forgot that they actually do the, uh, the weapons, too. So I need a red weapon then. Uh. You guys have Imperial Jewel? Yeah, yeah. Troops. We really, really need. Maybe I need a mana generator as a uh, weapon since I don't have. use prism prismatic or people don't people have that right and then I don't know sunbird that's not good it's got the same colors as everybody has red and purple what is up with that so this is a terrible team let's let's just go two times red we're gonna do two purple red minus yellow. That looks good. Class, we'll do Sun Spear. Get us a uh, Firestorm. And I'm leveling it up anyway, so. This is a terrible team. Do not. Just use it for today. And we'll figure something out, out, else out for tomorrow. Um, I would need, really need a burn for Ella McGrim. I don't know. We really need a mana generator. That's why we have pr Prismatic Orb up there. And I probably shouldn't even have this thing in the first slot. How much mana does it? 18. I don't know. Probably have Sunbird up there, but I don't know. We'll see. I need to put on my badges. This is taking way, 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 way too long. What is going on? Please. What is it? Medal of uh, All-Seeing Badge. 40% skull and spell damage for all troops in current event. So you just put those on because they're the best. And then back to the event. Holy crap. Wish. And I've, I'm not going to pick that. You want to do the highest rarity usually and the highest level. So this I guess. And I don't know, guys. Just wait till tomorrow if if you don't feel comfortable with this team. I'm I'll figure it out. This is my very first like second seeing these troops as uh what we can use, you know. Chosen allies. We we want Queen Titania. That didn't give us very much. And my dude's blocking her so bad. So I don't know if that's good. Should probably just put her up front for, uh... For right now. See, you just, like, fix your team as you go. I'm not gonna come up with the best amazing team right now. And if anybody else does, before they've even seen the event... And somebody's feeding them teams, or they're looking at their guild, somebody in their guild. Somebody's feeding them teams somewhere, or they're seeing teams on a forum or something. Because that is, you can't, 
automatically come up with the team as soon as you see an event. Most people, it takes some time dealing with the event. This will work for today, like, why not? Queen Titania is a legendary troop. Getting some eyeballs. I don't know what we're supposed to do, like usual. But I'm sure this team could be way better. Do not, there's, I keep telling you guys I'm not the best at making teams. I'm better, I'm good at moving gems on the board. Like, that's the thing I'm good at. I'm not the best at making teams. Like, usually I need help with that. Or I just don't have that great of a team and I uh, somehow get through. This is what I'd recommend for today. Just do some of the event. Get some eyes. The rewards are good because it's a guild event. Major Orb of Chaos to Orb of Chaos, Orb of Chaos, all that good stuff. Plus the, the medal that you're going to get. Medal of Seasons at the end. So if you don't already have three medals of seasons, and even if you do, it still gives you another one that you can upgrade your troops with. All right, what else do we have this week? Tomorrow is the faction assault for what? CSRO, I think. Is that right? Sea of Sorrow. Yes. Do I have a team for this? I hope. No, I was doing um, pure faction, so no team for that. You got blue though. You can do King Gob Truffle. Just do King Gob Truffle. So do Forest Troll, King Gob Truffle, King Gob Truffle. Uh, uh, doomed Glaive, or you can use Queen Beatrix instead. A lot of people have been doing that recently, so you can use that to get through that of this event today. The King Gob Truffle team or the Queen Beatrix team can get you through that today. And then Wednesday we have the Trog Pole. Hopefully we'll do really good on that and do a a speed run, uh, as well as Dark Souls. We'll do Dark Souls in the morning, and then we'll do a speed run on the Pet Rescue uh, in the afternoon. Uh, I already beat my record from Friday, so I'm going to put that up if if I don't beat it. So either way, there's going to be a new speed run on Wednesday, pretty sure. Not guaranteed, but I'm trying to do Gems of War every single day. Uh, Thursday, we have a class event for Plague Lord. And this weekend is Vault, so important, very important. Vault. Make sure you get that done. So if you get if you made it the whole way, the two most important things that happen this week are Ferris Ra and Vault Event, and I need to stress that. Ferris Ra and Vault Event. Also, new medals, new medals of seasons we can get, and uh, that's good. So, yeah, like, share, subscribe. <clears throat> Hope I didn't forget anything. Um, pretty sure I didn't, as long as this has been. But put some teams in the comments for the World Event, please, that I can use tomorrow that can help people out, and I'll show it, and I'll give you a shout-out for making that team. Cause I don't really care anymore about, um, you know, team team making. I I know what I'm good at, and it's moving gems on the board. So, and hopefully doing stuff quickly. We'll see with the speed runs. But yeah, like, share, subscribe. Put questions in the comments. Put your teams in the comments. Just put anything in the comments. It really helps. Hit a like. It really helps. Consider joining. You know, I make sense off the, the ad, ads, so that really helps. Those are dollars, which is way better than cents, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you all next time. Hope you got something out of this. Peace.